I love to make cooking a family affair in our home, and I'm so delighted every time my daughter Alex joins us here because it makes me my heart swell with. Well, every time pride. I'm here, she has some very talented either 13 or 16 year olds on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Just to remind me, yes, that I have not made it yet. No, that's that I'm not. And <laughs> I'm a terrible daughter. No, you're not, honey. I'm so proud of you. It no. always makes me feel so good and accomplished when I come well, here. You are accomplished. Listen, you you have accomplished a lot because Alexandra has celiac disease, so she's not able to eat anything with gluten, even if she touches anything, a toast or anything with flour on it. I explode. I, she explodes. Yeah. She goes and poof. She poofs away. So she's come up with these really ingenious ideas on how she loves dessert to I make do. cupcakes. I do, do not like overly sweet desserts, though. I yeah. like desserts that kind yeah. of hug hug your mouth and yeah. then do their job and leave. Yeah. Kind of oh, like, I do their like, job yeah. and leave. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I, I thought we're that. putting in a toilet today. <laughs> 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 so yes, I came up with this uh, gluten-free banana bread with my older sister, Annie. She was trying to get my 16-year-old niece, Claire, to get off of refined sugars before the SAT to help her focus in her okay. concentration. Yes. So she came up you, with this idea of using the date puree instead of refined sugar. And what I found is that using the date puree in desserts, especially baked breads and muffins and cupcakes, add such great moisture and sweetness without giving you that sickening headache that you usually get with desserts. So how, what, did you, what did you do to the dates? So I took the dates and I just put them in a cup of water and I boiled it down so the water reduced until, uh, an, right. until a half a cup. Until half a right? cup, And okay. then I just took an immersion blender, you can do it in your food processor, and um, I just blended it up and this is what you get at the end. Okay, so you is, use that instead of sugar, right? Yes. Okay. Should I mash these nanas? Yes, and dates like are really water. high. Thank you. Okay. For nuts. Date, dates are very high in antioxidants <laughs> and fiber, so it's it's a much healthier, yeah, um, alternative to sugar. So to the date puree, you yeah. want to add the bananas in. How, how, how mashy do I have to make them? Oh, as mashy as you want. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have you separate. Mark, a couple I'm gonna eggs. Separate two eggs. You know how to do that? I actually need three eggs okay. separated. Eggs. Do you know how to separate eggs? Yes. Okay. We're gonna use the egg whites. And you just one yeah. hand. That's ten. Yeah. yeah. That's I, can do it. I bet. How many eggs do you need, Alex? I better take a couple just in case. Three. Three. We need three right. eggs. You wanna try? We three? need three egg whites. What are you giving? You're separating three eggs. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's embarrassed. All right. Oh. Go ahead. Do one. What? What's you don't know how to do it? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, here, you <laughs> separate. Look, separate an egg. Alex, you want to show them how to do it? Go ahead. So you just take your egg and you separate the white from the yolk. Okay. Right? And then you just take your yolk. And I save these. I make custard with them. You can um, use them for ice cream yeah, base if you make your own homemade ice creams, which I do. I don't know if anybody else does, but they're delicious. Yeah. You should try. Now, I, I learned this. If you're breaking it, you break it on a flat surface, not on the edge. Right, right? you learned that last so week. So, Kayla right. and I, we're going to do this. Okay, so go ahead. Okay. We're going to try this together. Okay. Should we right. put we them need, both in here or one? We need one? one more. Okay, here we I go. Flat surface. Here, give it to me. All right. Okay. All right, so after, after you do, you have, what is it? This is the proof. So These that's are the here. dates. Oh. And then you add the bananas. Oh, mm. that's disgusting. Okay. And, and then I'm adding coconut oil. And um, I use coconut oil in my baked goods uh, in lieu of butter or vegetable oil. And Just Sophie loves so that because so, Sophie, yes. well, what is so the benefit for the coconut well, oil? Well, it has so lauric girl. acid in it. It has capric acid. Okay. It actually can speed your metabolism. Mm -hmm. It's antibacterial. It's just the most wonderful thing to cook with. Oh, Highly, oh, oh. Two she two gets two. me. Yes. They're two, they're two best my best friend. Uh -huh. So how many do we have in here? There's seven in there. Oh. No, You want about not. a fourth of a two. cup of eggs. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Or you don't do want to do separate oh, your eggs. Good. You can just use um, two, you can just use two eggs without separating or a fourth of a cup of egg whites. I like using egg whites just I'm because. Eating. Try to say slim and trim ladies. Am I right? Bikini season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, is that you like? Oh my gosh, it tastes delicious. Wait, oh, you guys started so the moist. moist and moist. delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Right? They started the mouth hugging. Right? <laughs> well, no, this is the these, this is the secret to the mouth hugging is cinnamon. I add cinnamon to a lot of my desserts because it adds that cinnamon. that warmth yeah. Yeah. So to good. your desserts. I add them into my chocolate chip cookies. Mm. I'll add them into rum ice cream. Um, mm. It just adds just it gives you that depth. And you makes you, and it and tastes like Christmas, right? It tastes like Christmas. Mm. Okay. So I have here uh, a gluten-free uh, all-purpose flour mix made by Pamela's. This is their pancake uh -huh. mix. Um, I like it because everything's um, already mixed in, so you have the baking soda, the xanthan gum, um, and uh, the different flours, so you don't have to... They're not real flour. No. Yeah. 
they're the gluten-free uh, rice flours, tapioca starch. Um, if you can't find this product, just use any type of all-purpose gluten-free flour and make sure that you add in a, a teaspoon of baking soda and some xanthan gum or some sort of binder similar to xanthan gum. All right, so then you bake it for how long? Why am I oh, sweet you're not done, milk. Oh, I'm summer. not done, girl. Oh, I'm Go sorry. Ahead. <laughs> so I've got unsweetened almond milk here. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my show. This is... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then we've just got a greased uh, pan. Are you still going to sulk over that? Go ahead. So rude. Okay. Let me so go ahead and answer I've the got, question. Yes. Can that be over stirred? No. no. You can't can, over stir it because no. I think I, that's my mistake sometimes. Well, because they're gluten free flours, yeah. you're not. Gluten is a protein, so if you are working the gluten too much, it becomes really tough. There's no gluten in here, so you can work it. It's, you know, you can work it, girl. Right. You, know, you don't have to worry about it. I thought the same thing when she was yeah. doing it. I said, boy, she's really mixing it too much. But then, you know, yeah. she I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> a professional? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I'm, gonna read, I'm gonna read your cue cards. So everybody out there in TV land. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be teaching a cooking class in Italy this September. And uh, it's for a fantastic pasta company called Jovial. And it's one of my favorite brown rice pastas that I use. And uh, it's an eight day vacation. And through that vacation time, there are three three hour cooking classes and we all get to stay in this beautiful Tuscan villa. If you go to jovial.com slash getaways, the there, there, that site. You can find out more information. My friend Joy the Baker, who was on the show, is coming with. And, and your sister? And my, my sister. Your sister? Uh, check that out. Hey! Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so, make sure to check out my blog. I'm just going to do okay. your job for you. Okay. <laughs> check out the blog. Go to Alex. Go ahead, say it. Oh, my blog is alextcooks.com. 